radio? <laughs> <laughs> no questions yet. Please. That's amazing. Right. Hello, I'm Hilary. Thank you very much for this opportunity to talk to you about employment autism. We are being set up as a new charity created by people with a track record in founding and running charities. We aim to provide resources which will improve the chances of successful employment for autistic people and increase the confidence of employers to support autistic employees. <coughs> I'm the development manager of Employment Autism, however the title is moot, as I am in the entire paid workforce. <laughs> I am supported by knowledgeable and committed volunteers in the steering group and advisory committee, which includes those with autism. And one of the steering group members here tonight is a director of the charity Care Trade with whom we are collaborating and they have provided us with these pictures and I'll be bringing Judith up onto the stage to help me answer the questions at the end. There are estimated to be over 700,000 people in the UK with autism, four to 500,000 of working age. Autistic people have as wide a range of interests, abilities and skills as the rest of the population and are known to be loyal and productive employees. They bring diverse talents to the workplace and it's no coincidence that when the DWP produced a document on employing autistic people, they called it untapped talent. GCHQ understand the benefit of neurodiversity in the workplace and they're actively seeking autistic employees and they've devised alternative ways to recruit and support them. However, GCHQ is not a typical environment and most recruitment and management practices and performance review methods do not display the talents of autistic people or showcase their strengths and they're frequently unemployed or underemployed. Despite the majority wanting to work, fewer than 16% of autistic adults are in full-time employment and that compares with 31% of adults with a disability and 57% of the non-disabled population. This results in a reliance on benefits, both for them and potentially for the families and carers who support them. But it also significantly impacts on their personal well-being and self-esteem. Anxiety and depression are very common comorbidities with autism, and autistic people often report that employment is the least satisfactory area of their lives. So we will develop an online portal of evidence-based best practice information and advice free at the point of use to share expertise, advice and ideas and resources and create opportunities. This is not currently available elsewhere as a consolidated resource. We are planning our initial launch in three key areas. First, we will provide information for employers and HR departments to raise awareness of autism and the benefits of having autistic people in the workplace. We want to make sure that employers are confident to employ autistic people by providing them with the resources and tools to facilitate this. We will provide advice and resources to autistic job seekers and employees on navigating the entire employment process, their rights and how and where to seek active support with the aim of enabling them to achieve personal fulfilment in their work. Finally, we have an initiative to increase work experience opportunities for young people. In this, we are collaborating with specialist autism educational settings and charities to support young people up to the age of 25 to acquire those vital workplace skills. Research shows that the younger people that are, the younger the people are exposed to the workplace, the more likely their success in employment. It's difficult enough to find worthwhile work experience for young people, but when that person has autism, it's a real struggle. As a result of this initiative, we will create and publish reusable procedures used by others who are planning and supporting work experience placements. As to our progress so far, we're currently raising seed funding and although we intend to be free at the point of access, we have received pledges from organisations who are willing to give us a voluntary subscription once we are up and running, which we hope will make us self-sustaining and allow us to develop our future offerings. We already have a, a wish list of additional services that we hope to incorporate in the future. So, critical to the success, the, the success of the portal is the content. Of course we are involving autistic people in this venture. Therefore we want to employ autistic writers and an editor, all with autism, and we will use this funding to secure their professional services. £30 will secure one hour of time for an autistic writer or editor, so £100 will give us the content needed for approximately one topic subsection. I'd also be interested to hear from you if you'd be prepared to offer work experience to a young person, host a one-off visit, or perhaps give a talk on the sector that you work in or your role. The benefits of diverse skills and thinking methods are well recognised in some industries and organisations, for example banking IT, and IT, and it's these, these niche stories which often get the publicity. But this is only part of the picture. Understanding and expertise needs to be widened across all sectors and to all skills and interests to allow more people to benefit, and these benefits can go far beyond simply securing a wage. This is Luke. 
And this, this smile says more than I can possibly say. <laughs> Not only is he successfully working at Boots as a customer service assistant, but the income, confidence and boost to his self-esteem that he has acquired as a result is also reflected in his life skills. He has taught himself to shop and cook for his family, and he's looking forward to living independently. And this is no fantasy. After all, they trust him with the keys to the shop. <laughs> there's, jo there's George, who with a combination of dyspraxia and autism, doesn't give the, the best first impression. So his capabilities have been underestimated. A stint of work experience helped him identify what he really wanted to do. Now he has his dream job as a hospital porter, where his manager describes him as a great role model and says, if I could have 20 of George, my job would be so much easier. <laughs> we aim to give hope to this untapped pool of talent to achieve their potential and grow a network of organisations confident to offer employment opportunities to autistic people. Thank you for listening.